Alright, good day to you, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. I've been getting into this, um, I can't really say recently I've been getting into this habit because I haven't been uploading that much recently, but recently as far as my channel history is concerned and my Let's Playing history is concerned, I've been getting into this really bad habit of ending in odd places and not actually signing out and that makes the ends of sessions really awkward like the last one was. So, I'm gonna try not to do that. I'm gonna try and actually end my sessions from now on. Like this one. This will be the one I start with. But first we need to talk. Well, well first we need to do stuff before we, before we can actually start ending sessions. And I need to make sure I can get on the other side of this bitch. There we go. Okay. Say <laughs> What? You shouldn't sneak up on an old... Ooh, that's a cool camera angle. You shouldn't be out of here anyway. This is Kinrath territory. <laughs> Kinrath, I can take care of myself. Have you not noticed that I've cleared out the entire Kinrath population around here? It's just a habit. We warn people that the area around Kunda is dangerous, but some of them don't listen. Probably nothing you can't handle. But I'd stay clear of the caves all the same. I've already been in the caves. What are you doing out here if it's so dangerous? A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western fringe farmers was coming to Kunda on his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. Okay. Do you expect foul play? I do. The Kinrath are dangerous. But as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something, hmm? Depends on what it is. I doubt you'll be able to find any evidence of what happened here. But you might come across the atmospheric sensors. They have to be somewhere. If you find any of them, just come back here. I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you can find, even if they're broken. See what I can do, I guess? A thousand credits each for something that, you know, if I just keep an eye out for them and run into something, I'll give it to you, and if not, big whoop. I'll see what I can do. No reason not to. Okay. Well then. Okay, so which way did I come from? Came from that way. So here is the enclave. I wonder what's over to the to the west. I'm gonna explore over there. I'm gonna explore over on the other side of Kunda. And if there's nothing over there, you'll probably get an edit now. But if there is something over there, you're hearing my voice. You're hearing my voice right now because there is something over here. I have no foreknowledge, I have very little memory of this game, apart from little specific things. And, no. Well, oh! There's the bridge that we solved the mystery on, that I skipped over in the LP because it's long and boring. And can only be done one correct way. Brilliant! But seriously, let's see what's over here. Oh! More Kinrath. Guess we haven't exterminated the, the entire population. Oh, no wait, these aren't Kenrath. These are the things from before. These are calf hounds. Yeah, the calf hounds. Well, what have I got? I've got an improved flurry. This very axe would say, flurry it to Let's death! Or not. We can just suck at the flurrying. Let's use some force lightning. That's, yeah, that's much easier. Much more efficient. You know, the interesting thing, I don't think Keller really thinks of herself as evil, but I do think she thinks of herself as wronged and betrayed by the people who profess themselves to be good. And I also think of her as being someone who tries very hard to be efficient. So, like, her use of the dark side of the Force is for efficiency's sake. And she... She deals with some bad people here and there because it's efficient to do so. And I think that's her rationale. I think she kind of rationalizes 
her way through the bad decisions that she makes. So no, she's not just your typical stupid I'm evil just for the sake of being evil person. No, she has her reasons. And I think they're understandable within the um within particularly within the context of this game's story. Flurry it to death! Yep, and you. You're not exempt from the death. Focus. Yep. Focus! Yeah, the... The wildlife around here is pretty unthreatening, I must say. Yep, one mad pack and I'm looking good again. Oh, I'm always looking good. Look at me, I'm a hottie. But, but seriously, folks. I'm not here just for laughs. <laughs> what the hell else am I here for? Okay, and this just goes to the Enclave Courtyard, too. That is obviously the correct place to go at this juncture. So let us go there. And, oh, there are people. So let us see. Sure, let's just save over Z because we did not use Z. Okay. It occurs to me that my. Ah, I'm not. Bleh. Forget I was saying things. You look important. I'm gonna talk to you. You a new salvager? Or one of those Kunda Cantina rats coming here to complain? I'm. Well, I was gonna say I'm not a salvager because I'm annoyed with people always assuming that I am, but I guess I'm technically a salvager. Well, we don't need another one. Look around this camp. We got the salvaging more than covered. I'm gonna give you some advice. Turn back. There's nothing you're gonna find. You know, I don't like your tone. I don't need your permission to go to the ruins. You don't look like you're gonna crawl around the ruins. If you want to go to the sub-level, you are going to need the administrator's permission, though. I already have that. Well, you're welcome to go down there and die. The Lagrex are hungry. Could you use a treat? I'm going to the ruins. I've come a long way. If you're not going to listen to anybody, maybe you can help me out. The only place that has anything is the sub-level. And only a couple of fools have gone there. And they're now dead fools. Now, I'd like to do the decent thing and get their bodies and put them to rest. That hole isn't a fit place for a salvager. So, if you find a couple human corpses down there, just grab their gear and their bodies. I'll pay you 500 credits for each of them. That seems unusually generous of you. She says, raising her eyebrows. Oh, return of the eyebrows. They're not as distinct because the bouncy hair sort of distracts from them, but they are there! Plus salvagers that are still here have to stick together. Alright, well, I'll be going now. I'll take your offer into consideration, unless I really like their gear and then I won't give it back to you. Yep, yep. And you have a name. Oh, the visitor comes to our delightful salvager camp. We are honored. Do you come bringing your credits and curiosity? Are you selling something? Am I that transparent to you? Apparently this is so. I am Rala, known throughout this camp for the many artifacts of value that I have uncovered. An expert, this is certain. A question I pose to you, Traveler. Do you wish to buy one of the most elusive of all Jedi artifacts? A powerful Jedi holocron. You found a holocron? I'm impressed. You flatter me, Traveler. It was a good day when I found this holocron. But you are lucky, for I will sell it to you for a low price. I ask a mere 1,000 credits for this rare find. This is not a matter of negotiation. You should buy it quickly before others come. Can I inspect the holocron? Now, maybe it's broken. Oh, I assure you it isn't. I will show it to you presently. Well, as you can see, it is in fine shape. A real bargain at a mere 1,000 credits. That is a remarkable fake, but it's not even worth the time you've wasted describing it. How, how did you know? I never unload this accursed thing. This isn't my fault. You can't blame me. 
how isn't this your fault? This forgery has passed through several hands in this camp. I am merely the latest victim. I wish to abandon this dung heap. I thought this was a delightful camp. Be serious. Any sentient with scent glands can tell that this is the garbage bit of Dantooine. True. And again, we're getting into the five senses of this game. Oh, I detect that this does stink badly. My nose just fell off. Damn you, game. But. So you didn't make this? No, of course not. Another salvager sold it to me. And he bought it from another one before him. When there were more salvagers, incidents like this were common. Oh, but now there are a few of us and I'm stuck with this garbage. There's no way I can make it home to my family and children. I doubt you even have a wife. You, with all your observations. I'm not gonna talk to you about the holocron anymore. So, what should we talk about? Do you know anything about a thief? You should talk to Dorala. I've told her everything I know. I think I saw the thief by the ruins of the Enclave. I believe that the thief has to be living in the sub-level. Because every place else has been visited many times by the salvagers. I didn't get a clear look at the thief. It was dark and the ruins provide many hiding places. Alright. Fair enough. You don't know shit. You know shit? What? Who is that? Oh, it's you. You go down into the sub-levels yet? Or did you suddenly develop some sense? Put a question mark there and then it'll be grammatically correct. That is not a statement, that is a question. Obviously. God damn it, game. Have you heard anything about a thief around here? Don't tell me that flaming Solru sent you. I went over all this with Zeron. We've been hit by the flaming thief more than he has. Every other night it seems we find something missing. And it's not like we have much. We keep asking Zeron to help us, but he sends us nobody. So the thief keeps coming from the ruins or whatever hole he lives in and taking what's ours. If we ever catch him, we'll take our time killing him. Why haven't you tried to tell Silru? I hear he's planning to shoot anybody that goes on his farm. I'm just glad we're not the only people suffering. Maybe if he moans enough, the militia will do something. So the thief comes from the ruins? That's our best guess. Sneaky as sin, but Raylon caught a glance of him that way. We keep hoping the Legrex finish the thief off, but that would be far too easy for us. If you haven't met Raylon, though, he's not... reliable. He's in the camp if you want to talk to him about the thief. Some camp. Anyway, if you I'm going to the ruins. Da, 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 da. Blah, blah, blah. For some reason I got experience from that. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Time to kill some more calf hounds, and I'm right in the middle of all of them. Let's move this way before we actually engage in a fight. So that we can draw only two of them. That works. This flurry really isn't doing as much as I would expect it to, but maybe... Maybe that's because I've been watching so many parts of, um, of Fairy Axe's LP lately, and he's got it on normal. So... Yeah. His games are a whole lot easier than mine. Of course, they're still... These guys still aren't presenting much of a challenge, and I totally forgot about Force Whirlwind. Which is like the most useful thing in the ever. Such hacks. Need to be using them more often. Stop casting force powers, you're just wasting your blue bar. Most useful thing in the ever! Die, stinking wretched demon! You do look like you stink. You look like you stink like a beast. Yeah, da -dum. This guy I don't really need to waste my force powers on, even though Time to even I have up. so many of them it doesn't even matter. No. No. Saving is not allowed. Thank you. Yeah, Kriya, you take care of that one. Fulton. Well, he's not actually fallen yet, he kind of jumped the gun on that one. Unfortunately. Alright, fair enough. Or I will. 
Yep, I will. This shall not stop us for long. Oh, you are, you are right. It won't. It didn't. It didn't stop us for long at all. Oh, hey, look, another camp. Beautiful. Oh, my friends. My friends, my friends. Oh, oh, Mr. Isaac. Can I help? What are a bunch of Mandalorians doing on Dantooine, Mr. Isaac? Just trying to make a living. At least there's still people in the galaxy who know our value. It's not glamorous work, but a man has to eat, right? I guess I'll be going now. I guess I don't have anything interesting to say to you. Okay. What about... No, oh, you don't have a name. You do. And you do. You look important. I don't even know what I'm ta why I'm talking to these guys. I'm wasting my time. Wasting my time with you buffoons, you mud lickers. I should have I should have said is that even an insult? I should have said that. Oh, where does this go? Back to the Kunda plant. What? Well, apparently we were heading north. Yeah, that's right. I have no sense of direction. I forget that sometimes. So really, that entire area there, over there, is completely pointless unless you want to get caught up with those mercenaries, which I don't think Kelly really particularly cares, honestly. Nope, 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 don't get stuck on things. Don't get stuck on things. We want to go to the Enclave. Do you feel it? The wound on this world? And if those Jedi are slain, then all that remains of the Order shall be drawn here as well. So the Jedi still live. Perhaps in the shadows of the galaxy, we will know when the time comes. And I hope our enemies do not. Fair enough. Ooh. Oh dear. I'm gonna save. I see a bunch of nasty, angry-looking droids staring me down. I'm Alspeth. You have caused us to expenditure a great deal of effort to find you, Jedi. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Threat. Come with us without resistance, Jedi. Or you will come with us in pain. Don't you ever know when to quit? Seriously! Seriously, I was gonna say something along those lines. I'll turn you into Barg's root beer! How's that for an ad lib? I have improv skills. Well, apparently my systems are failing too. That's unfortunate. Um, I don't really have any good special shots with this guy. With Atten. Time to take you down to size. Kraya! Kraya, do things! Fight! Kill! Yeah. Please? You can push that one too. Just because he's annoying me. In fact, can you just go back and forth and sort of... Where that came from? Incapacitate them one after the other? I guess combat works in rounds, so that wouldn't really work. Oh, Jesus. Good time for an energy shield. And apparently that blast bypassed the energy shield. Whoopee! Yes, fall to the ground in slow motion. We are, we are so impressed. <laughs> and so our journey has come to the end. That is the end of the story. They died there, to those three droids, anticlimactically, never to continue their journey again. The story's over. All that shit with the other je the Sith Masters, the Sith Lords? Nope. The heroes of the story were slain by three droids. Three angry, gray, HK-50 droids. Sad day. This has been KBM. Vengeful as always.